Okay, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a loop jump from forward inside three. It's going to look a little bit like this. Now when doing this loop jump, you need to make sure there's a couple of things that we need to be able to do beforehand. The first thing would be um, a forward inside three turn with good control, good back and outside edge control. And another thing would be the back spin from a pivot. When we go from the pivot, lifting that on which is what I showed you in the in the another video previously, the backspin video, which I'll put a link in the description down below. So when doing this loop jump, the first thing we want to do is a good forward inside edge. Okay, so the forward inside edge, we're gonna use the blue line, we're gonna curve around, come all the way back to the line. Okay, this is just gonna help us get a little bit of speed to start off with. Then from there, we do a forward inside three turn. So we're going forward inside edge. Inside three turn, all the way back to the line, and we're going to try and jump over the line. As we're doing this three turn, you want to make sure as you push away from the line, you're going to leave your free leg behind you, and as you turn into it, you want to make sure this left leg comes across and it's going to stay across. And we've also got to make sure we hit that cross position here with our feet. We're going to have our knee slightly up but straight in front. And you want to make sure your left arm is straight in front of you and your right arm behind, okay? As you curve for the jump, you want to make sure everything moves together, okay? So that all the time we're staying square on. We're not letting this arm throw back and we're not letting this knee lift up and out to the side, okay? So it all has to stay nice and checked in front and so square on and I curve. From there, I pivot on my foot forward and that's where I'm going to jump. And when we jump, we want to try and jump over the line. So like I said, when we do that curve, the curve's gonna come all the way back to the line on the back edge, with my left arm in front, right arm behind. I'm gonna twist my toe and pretty much face the line. When I get to this position, that's where I'm gonna scoop my arms up and underneath and jump over the top of the line. This curve's gonna help me with the rotation. Okay, so with the arms, <clears throat> you've got the left arm in front, right arm stretched out behind you, okay? When with these feet cross, no matter where we are on the takeoff, this left arm should always be in front of us. So if I'm rotating my jump, my left arm's always gonna stay on, in line with my zip, okay? So it's in line with my zip, in line with my zip, in line with my zip, okay? So no matter where I am, whether I'm jumping or rotating or on the takeoff, this left arm's always in front of me, okay? We never ever want to let our arm go behind us because that's going to make it drop out of the circle and make it very, very difficult to land. A really good exercise for that is as you're going through the, the takeoff, instead of just keeping it in front, we're going to put that left arm on the pocket, okay? So you imagine you're bringing it across your body and putting it on this side and just using the right arm to draw it up and in. What that does it just helps to control where your shoulders are facing and gives it a little bit more strength and a little bit more pressure over the right hip. All right, so for the air position, we want to just be drawn up nice and tall over the right side. We want to make sure everything's staying in the right shoulder, so that's if you rotate in any clockwise direction. It stays over that right hip, and then for the landing, we're going to lift that knee and kick out. And when we land, we're going to keep the weight over the right hip, the left arm slightly in front, right shoulder slightly back. So it gives us a nice position with the free leg, roughly a 45 degree angle. And voila, there we have it. A loop jump from forward inside three turn. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, I would put a link in, in front of me right here. You just click that button here. Also, we've just hit 1,000 subscribers and I'm doing a little giveaway. I'll put the link to that video just in the top corner here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.